comedy of my buddy Eric Culverson. Let him know, folks. Let's keep it going for your feature that Vinny. Thank you, thank you very much. So, how many of you took a flight to Vegas? Yeah, see, just the white folk. Why? See, most black people didn't raise their hand. Why? Because we just get used to flying. We used to taking the bus. It's different. On a flight, you leave at 1 p.m., you get there maybe 4 o'clock. On the bus, you leave at 1, you get there Thursday. <laughs> My grandma flew for the first time ever last year to our family reunion. Bless her heart. She fell asleep on the plane, woke up, and asked if she missed her stop. <laughs> it's different. On a plane, you go from one city to another city. But on the bus, you leave the city, and then you go to every small town in America. Like, you leave Detroit, but your next stop is Jonesville. Then there's Pikesville. Then there's You Don't Belong Hereville. <laughs> every time the bus stops, you go back in time about 10 years. So by the fourth stop, your black ass is back in the 60s. <laughs> I'm looking out the window. All I see is pickup trucks with gun racks in the rear window and Confederate flags on the bumper. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bus driver is making an announcement. We will be here for 30 minutes. There's a diner right next to the bus depot. They serve sandwiches and the best apple pie in the county. I'm thinking, great. Do they deliver? <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting off the bus that scares me. It's what if they leave without me? <laughs> now, one time I think it off. But first, I tie a rope around my waist and the other around the steering wheel. Because <laughs> one way or another, they are not leaving here without me. <laughs> Imagine, I'm walking around town, a rope, a rope tied around me, until I hear one good old boy tell another, Look, Earl, he's got his own starter kit. <laughs> Straight to the bus. <laughs> Nowadays, I fly all the time, and it's no big deal. But I still remember the first time I flew first class. I didn't really know what to expect. And right after the plane took off, the flight attendant kind of sashayed by, and she closed the curtain between first class and the main cabin. I was so excited. I thought I was going to get a lap dance. <laughs> Let's just say for the next 45 minutes, my tray table wasn't the only thing in the upright position. 